Hello. Now that we've learned how to work the Maya interface, let's go ahead and learn how to manipulate objects in Maya. On the left hand side here, there's, um, sel uh, there's a way you can actually, there's um, select two, there's a move two, rotate two, and um, the scale two. And uh, on top of that, these tools can be accessed on here. The uh, select two can be accessed on edit, uh, select two, okay, and the rest of them like the move, rotate, and and um, scale can be accessed by clicking on modify, transform two, and there they they are on here, okay. I don't know anybody in animation that actually goes all the way to these uh, menus to access um the uh, rotate um the rotate move or select two from the menus that I don't know anyone that goes there usually it's a keyboard shortcut or here okay so there's another way you can actually get to these using your keyboard and the letters that you actually use are Q W E and R so usually people when people are working in animation using Maya what they do is uh, put the left hand on the keyboard and the right hand on the mouse so that way they easily get to places without actually wasting too much time so if we let's um play with um let's play with these buttons for a bit if i click on um q i'm activating the the select two so i can select whatever i want to select all right like this and if i want to click on the move to all i need to do is click w i'll be on the move to e and R respected, uh, respectively will we'll, we'll switch from um, move to, rotate to, or the scale to. So these are some um, cool features that Maya has for us. Another way to, another thing that I would need to point out is uh, like, like um, any other application, computer application, there's a way you can actually shift select objects. Let's say if I, if I hold the shift key and select, I can select the roof, I can select this little pyramid and the mat, all right? This is pretty standard with any, um, uh, any computer application or program or whatever. On top of that, another feature that, already, that you might already know is the rubber band selection tool. You can actually rubber band select uh, this um this house or sorry you can um, actually rubber band select or and bear in mind if you actually double se oh, crap. if you actually double select um objects like that if you've noticed the, you just look at this these little pyramids and that and the mat are selected not the roof if I try to select the roof these things are deselected. So these are just, uh, just some of the things you need to watch out for. Um, yeah, you need to watch out for this for these things. Otherwise, you might feel you might think your um, mice has a bug or you you're not doing the right thing. So make sure you pay attention to these features, and uh, that way you'll be able to actually follow the tutorial properly. Another thing I need to point out is the the option tool. The, the option tool. You can get to the option tool by actually double clicking on on uh, select two double click on that one you have the two settings on here okay you have the uh, two uh, two settings on here um, that this two settings these two settings can be accessed by actually double clicking the uh, selection two or up here in the middle that is the same two all right so let's click on that and uh, and uh, do the and uh, um, activate the uh, selection to the two settings. That will only give us two options. It doesn't give us many options. It only gives us the two options for the selection two, which is the camera best selection or drag best selection. So it, these are just options that are in the selection two. So let's see if we actually go to. Um, we go to that one. That one has its own um, options. All right, it has its, its uh, own options. So it's like open, 
um, open um, lasso tool if you let's click on open we'll be able to actually um, we'll be able to actually go around things you know like would we'll be able to go around more like uh, around the pyramid properly and stuff like that okay or we, we can be able to go around you, you you get the idea we'll be able to go around objects freely as compared to the um, to the close to as compared to the closed to close to only means uh, it's like it's closed it's a bit harder to go around some some places you can end up uh, selecting something by mistake so it, it just depends on um, what you're working on uh, all, all these, the rest of them are pretty much uh, self, um, self-explanatory. You can let, you can actually go through them because there's a lot of them. It will take forever to to get through. But for now, that's all you have to. That's all. You, that's all you have to to learn. The rest of them you learn um, in your own um, in your own time. Yeah, that's uh, pretty much um, all we need to learn in this. Um, all we're going to learn in this tutorial. And um, yeah. Watch the next tutorial and um, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks.